Bardstown is a, is a place in Kildare where kids with cancer, or what I have, leukemia, basically nearly have the best time of their life. Dara was a very active boy um, who enjoyed all the things, I guess, that six-year-olds do. Began to notice when we signed him into the local um, soccer team. He started to slow down a bit and uh, the energy didn't just seem quite there. And then all the tests started happening in succession uh, when eventually an MRI was done on his pelvis. And um, then came about the news uh, that we weren't expecting. Within two hours of receiving the news, we were behind the wheel and heading to Dublin. A very difficult journey. Barrettstown came to our attention very early, um, but as we moved through treatment, uh, it, it definitely uh, surfaced more and more in our thinking, uh, especially when it came to um, putting Darren in an environment where he'd be amongst his peers or children going through the same situation as him. One of the activities that really stood out for me in Barrettstown was the, the climbing wall. I was concerned maybe that he, he might be disappointed if he wasn't uh, able to partake in it. The child that's seriously underweight, hadn't energy to climb up the stairs, barely able to stand, but yet you uh, put a harness on him and he's not backing down. The beautiful part of Bardstown was everybody around the wall were, were, were um, giving the encouragement to that child to, uh, to get up and, and reach their goal. I would have been impressed had he made it, you know, two or three feet off the ground but uh, through just sheer determination and strength, where he found it, I don't know. But he scaled the wall and he made, he made it a top, which was incredible. So Barrettstown is, 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 is certainly um, a great healing um, place for him in terms of yeah, building up his willpower, his, his confidence, his own self-esteem really as well. Um, he certainly walked away from camp a very different uh, um, young boy that, that, that walked in and it's pretty unique. I don't think you'll ever encounter an organisation like Barrettstown. So thank you to all that have donated in the past and um, if you're considering donating in the future, thank you also to keep the spirit of Barrettstown alive. Uh, thank you for sprinkling a little magic. Thank you.